we've got what may be considered as a Thanksgiving special for you. I am Man Slave. And perhaps we'll start putting out a video series about the rise of Elite MIGTO and the need for it. Effectively, like, maybe a video series into, um, into introducing the concept of Elite MIGTO. That is, an elite version, <coughs> excuse me, of men going their own way. And perhaps we'll explain why it's needed. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it simply. With what happened to the disposable human doing last week, nearly a week ago, I believe it was Friday, November sixteenth of two thousand twelve. It's on now. Because I already had my trouble last year in 2011 and uh, this pivotal point where you have to go your own way in life and cut just, just totally go your own way without women just cut away all the dependency and whatever and realize what is underneath that surface what's behind the mask as DHD, as I'll kind of designate, disposable human doing, uh, my colleague, <coughs> he, um, when he sees women with a whole bunch of makeup on, <laughs> like uh, we were in public the other day, we were at, uh, we were at a store, and uh, we saw uh, we saw these two women with a whole bunch of makeup, <laughs> and DHD, he <laughs> he kind of laughs and he says to me. Look, man, slave, it's Bozo and Pennywise. <laughs> the clowns. Uh, Bozo the clown. I used to watch him when I was a kid back in the 80s. And Pennywise, you know, the clown from It. And, uh, you know, DHD, he's totally right. And I'm starting to call him DHD now, you know, the disposable human doing. And because that's the initials, it's like an acronym, whatever. Anyway. It is so on now. With how he got fucked over uh, in terms of just emotionally and his situation on uh, what's happened to him recently. Um, um, I don't think he's in any serious trouble or anything like that, but uh, something bad happened to him uh, that a very toxic girl had done, and he didn't even he wasn't even really aware of the level of her toxicity. Um, a few nights ago, DHD was over here, and we uh, we made a recording, and I just gotta make sure and just prepare everything, and I'm gonna upload it probably tonight. Uh, of course, this is uh, November 21st, 2012, the day before Thanksgiving. So I'll get that out to you viewers there. Um, it'll almost be like a little Thanksgiving special. Although, uh, we didn't think of it that way. He had just came over and then we had a discussion. <coughs> and this will be a very, uh, a very, a very important Thanksgiving special because be thankful your ass isn't in jail on a fucking false allegation. Yeah, and that's what we're both thankful for. Uh... This, this, I mean, he, he was already awakened quite a bit, as he'll probably, you know, you'll hear him talk about. Because um, starting a year ago, uh, me and uh, the disposable human doing really started to wake up to what's going on. When we began tumbling down the rabbit hole, <coughs> um, officially, by asking ourselves, why do women say that they want a nice guy? But then they go for the guy who later they will label as a jerk. Uh, and then use it as an excuse uh, to justify their toxic and bad uh, behavior. Uh, 
you'll find on Facebook that um, there's there's pages dedicated um, to girl power and where they say behind every uh, behind every bitch is an asshole who made her that way. Very interesting because women seem to get away with that kind of uh, that kind of stuff. And you gotta understand, and for uh, that that uh, YouTube user who calls himself the cult of the gods, uh, who pesters me from time to time, um, you gotta understand female psychology. What's up in there? You gotta understand male psychology, and how it's like a subset of human psychology. Uh, just because somebody acts a particular behaves a, a particular way on the surface does not mean that's what they are at their very core, and you need to understand that. Um, the and, and your lack of understanding of that is really a testament to your arrogance. All right. Um, I did not originally know this kind of stuff, as I talk about in uh, the video I'm going to upload. The the um, what me and the disposable human doing DHD as I now call them. What we recorded. <coughs> uh, what was it? Monday night, which would have been um, November nineteenth of 2012 you'll hear us talk about that how for 20 years I put women up on a pedestal and admired females and was really quite naive and me and DHD had to suffer the outcome of a collapse of a belief system when reality came crashing upon us and really about a year ago back in October and November of 2011 we noticed we really started to notice and talk about how women actually behave much in the same way that they negative negatively stereotype men for behaving we observed that and uh, it made us question who is who in this whole big uh, gender war and um, myself and the disposable human doing uh, the disposable human doing uh, DHD which is my colleague in um, in this movement we regard ourselves as members of a philosophy not exactly a group uh, not exactly an organization or movement or anything like that uh, at least yet, we regard ourselves as adherents of a philosophy in which we call elite migto, which is a very profound, um, a very significant, much more advanced, and uh, perhaps a more zealous form of men going their own way. <clears throat> and perhaps you'll start to find out why. Now originally in the video we start to, uh, that we did a few days ago, uh, that I'm going to put up on the internet uh, for Thanksgiving, so you can be thankful that your ass is not in jail uh, on a false uh, sexual harassment allegation or whatever. Um, you know, because when that happens, your life is basically over, and you are fucked. Society will hate you. No one will totally trust you. And just like Brian Banks, the uh, football player, your reputation will never completely recover from it. Um, if you are acquitted and found not guilty in cor a, a court of law, some people might trust you. Some people might um, um, they, they might go back to how things were before you were not accused or before you yeah, before you were accused. So anyway, but you know there's still going to be several people who think that the system is biased and they're going to think that uh, 
that evil patriarchy just let the guy off with a, with a warning <clears throat> and that he got away with rape or whatever else. Uh, me and DHD, we're smart, okay? And we know that, yes, rape does happen and we're not disputing the existence of it. Of course rape happens. But also at the same time, it's bullshit that 100% of men rape women all the time. Rape is simply not as prevalent as it is hyped up to be. Now this is 2012 right now. Think back in time a decade ago and how terrorism was hyped up a decade ago and how it was portrayed that underneath every bed, behind every corner, and in every shadow was a radical Muslim terrorist with an explosive device that was ready to kill you. We all found out it was false. That's not to say that there aren't pissed off Muslims out there who actually do want to hurt people. There are some, but they are not everywhere and definitely not to the prevalence to justify an entire fear-mongering system that panics the masses and, and grips the nation in fear. That's exactly the kind of shit that's been going on for almost 30 years with all the sexual abuse and all of the uh, rape culture and women are simply not raped as often as it is portrayed. A woman is not in near as much danger as she is portrayed. And if she is, what does that say about women? Are they weak and pathetic and just can't handle the world? Are we going to believe that? You need to understand that feminism is the most significant source of real misogyny in this world. And the sooner you understand that, the sooner you can live your life understanding how people really behave and how things really affect other people. There's so much to say, but me and the Disposable Human Doing will be making a series of videos, providing uh, we both have time to, because I work a job, and um, he's busy with various other schedule things and all that. However, in light of recent events, uh, his schedule might be freeing up because uh, there's a group of friends that he might not be hanging around with uh, because he's really seen the light and understands how they are. And it's just, well, you'll, you'll hear it in, in the audio recording. Um, it might be in, put up on YouTube in the form of uh, a video. And anyway, I just want to make this video saying that we are now in the age where you should expect an emergence of men going their own way and a very determined and profound version of that philosophy that hopefully will permeate society. Our plans are to exterminate rape and sexual harassment. And as I said earlier, it will come at a cost. You will see what is going to unfold when enough men find out how much of the bullshit system that love and dating and relationships and marriage is all about. When men start waking up and finding out who benefits at whose expense and for what reason. When the best a man can do when he walks away from a relationship is hope that his ass won't be in jail or in the hospital. All on the word of a woman that is seeking some attention and who wants to be validated by seeing how many men will come to her rescue 
and how much she desperately wants to live out that fantasy of a damsel in uh, as a damsel in distress and therefore an inherently valuable object. The fairy tales that we have been raised on, both men and women, are detrimental to society in one form or another. All this Cinderella fucking bullshit, all the romance novels and how they exaggerate um, and escalate females' expectations to a very mentally and emotionally unhealthy level to where they expect far too much from their mate or relationship partner or significant other and it skyrockets them up past cloud nine and then when reality sets in that a man can't be everything that she expects him to be well then she comes crashing down faster than the speed of sound to a very agonizing um, downfall because she has been led to expect too much and yet you see so many women reading that artificially dignified gynocentric bigoted smut I have a problem with romance novels and how men are portrayed uh, you look at the covers and I work at a place where I see romance novels like every day and when I go like grocery shopping and they have them like and all that shit in the magazine rack and it's part of the reason why women are fucked up and you look at it this stuff has to cater and to adhere to women's expectations or viewpoints or preferences in order to be sold and marketed so that women will purchase this and the fact that these magazine companies publishing companies and so forth are so successful and it's a multi-million dollar maybe even a multi-billion dollar industry and you see how long they've been in business it's really quite astounding uh, it's really quite an astounding uh, uh, testament to how how much women are loyal to that kind of stuff there's so many things that could be said however this is a call to men out there who do not want to be victimized and I assure you your time will will come your time will come you think that a woman will not fuck you over and take your shit and get everybody to hate you and you think that you won't be assaulted or whatever your time will come the time of traditional relationships and marriage to where people were happily married to each other for 50 years that time is coming to an end thanks to the girl power bullshit feminism has unlocked Pandora's box and has opened it up to spread misery into this world and it is taking our children with it it is destroying the lives of our children and don't tell me that women are not inherently self-interested to the detriment of others or to the extent that they allow it to become a detriment to their uh, to others even sometimes to themselves they don't even know don't tell me any apologetic shit to dignify the female gender when for two-thirds of my lifetime I had to hear ever since I was a child that men are assholes, men are pigs, men. If a man can grow up hearing that stuff for most of his life and it's told to him as if it's the truth, if man's reaction, or if, if man's perception of the world is allowed to be warped, and we call that equal 
It's time for women to have to suck it up and fucking deal with people talking about hypergamy and uh, gold digging or to hear the word cunt or to hear the word poop mouth or gynocentric bigot or anything that they don't want to hear. It's time and we're going to start enforcing equality. It's time for men to start treating women the exact same way that women treat men. And if women so happen to treat men good, that's how women are going to be treated. If women are going to treat men badly, then women are going to be treated badly. So that hopefully, since women are the decision makers in society, and men are expected to submit, unless they be labeled as an asshole, since we let women decide so many things in our society for the sake of equality and, and progress and, and women's rights and girl power and all this other bullshit, well, it's time for women to decide how they want to be treated. I am all in favor of treating people good and, and, and decent and with respect and dignity and even if possible make them happy. You know what I mean? But if they're going to treat men shittily, and, and, and if, well, not just men, but they even treat other women shitty. I mean, there are so many toxic women out there, and you don't even know who they are. You know what I'm saying? That's the danger of this shit. I mean, they got their whole dignified game of a disguise. And you know what? Men are going to have to start treating women every bit as shitty as women treat men these days. I'm not saying all women do it. No, there are a few women that, like, don't behave in a total way in which they wouldn't want to be treated. Okay? But you need to understand, there are a lot of women out there that are not worthy of, of being dated. They, they don't, I mean, they shouldn't... Why should men reward these women's bad behavior? You know what I'm saying? If a woman wants to be treated good, she should treat a man good. So there can be a universal standard. And then, uh, and then, me and the disposable human doing uh, will encourage men to treat women better when women treat men the same way that they as women want to be treated. We're going to have equality. I'm tired of all this fucking bullshit that, that you know, of, of society's warped perception of gender relations. Okay? I want the lie that was sold to society more than 30 years ago. You know, the whole Trojan horse of a scam that feminism turned out to be where they pretended that they were doing their shit for the sake of equality and human rights and all that good stuff. I want it to actually happen. Y you people don't really understand me. Why does equality of treatment between the genders seem like such a radical idea that only a terrorist would come up with? No. Me and the disposable human doing are against terrorism. We are against violence. We are against murder. We are against killing. We are against property damage. We are against theft. And we are definitely against sex crimes. We want for a nice, peaceful society to live in. Well, right now, there's too, women, there, there's too many women out there destroying men's lives using false allegations of whatever. We're going to talk more about that. Okay? And you need to understand female psychology and male psychology to understand how this problem between the genders keeps persisting. We're going to make some more videos and we're going to educate you people. Both the feminist and the men's rights activists uh, and so many other people. Uh, just really for anybody. And I'm calling for men to wake up.
why should you sacrifice any more than a woman would for you? It's time to walk off the plantation. It's time to stop being a slave. You do not need pussy. You need to understand at what cost to yourself is that pussy worth it? Dick, okay, penis needs to become every bit as expensive as pussy. Then we will level the playing field. Then we will have equality. And then, after the reset button of gender relations has been hit, and when we can go back to a fresh start, perhaps, between the genders in treatment, then we can have peace and equality and perhaps some kind of better experience in society. But no, the chivalry needs to stop. And the friend zoning needs to begin. Men need to start friend zoning women every bit as much as women do it to men. Okay, and the friend zone is where if you pursue a woman and she's not interested in you, she says she just wants to be friends. Men need to start doing that to women, even women that men are attracted to. Okay? And when women wake up to the fact that if you want to be on the market, you better fucking, like, treat people with respect and dignity. And sometimes... You might have to go out on a date with somebody you're not interested in or attracted to. You know, as, as women say, you know, men need to kiss a lot of frogs before they find that princess or whatever their excuse is. Um, it's time for women's toxicity to end. Or else this gender war, this warfare of validation... Uh, psychologically between the genders this war can heat up very uncomfortably for women if they do not get their shit together and men need to understand how easy it is to piss off a woman by rejecting her advances men do not need to punch women in the face or slash tires or do anything bad like that just turn them down and they get pissed like it's not supposed to happen to them this is easy stuff that you as a guy can do to fucking piss off a woman and really get underneath her skin. That's the beauty part of this thing. Mm -hmm. More beautiful than those women look on the outside with all their fucking tattoos and football skin and fucking, like, multiple piercings and just their fucking nasty ashtray breath. It's time that we as a society decide where we want to go in the future. And I'm hoping that society is smart enough to choose peace and improved state of gender relations for the sake of not just all of us, but the future generations and children so they don't grow up to be like Charles Manson or Anders Breverick whose mother fucking sexually abused him and did all kind of shit to him. Oh, and nobody cared. Nobody cared to understand why he was fucked up in the head and did his shit. No, they just call him a fucking monster. Then when a woman does a bunch of stuff that, that's horrible, the excuse is that she was abused. And this double standard needs to end. 